well, we are trying something new out today. First off, this came in the mail today, so I'm gonna try and at least open it. <laughs> now where I just got it, also you're gonna notice that the lighting is a bit more weird and strong and kind of, in a way, bad. I would like to call it cozy. <laughs> it's it's mostly because I uh, I just got a new stand for for the camera. Um so I hope to make some uh, some new and much more interesting camera setups or what's it called recording places so I can do stuff like uh, this. Of course, I'm not going to do it while recording, but um, yeah, it should be much easier to to zoom in on stuff and actually be able to do anything. Um, so that's going to be interesting, I guess. Um, let's get started, shall we? Whoa! <clears throat> Aha! Oh, damn it! I kind of hope I <laughs> hoped I could rip the uh, the sticker, but um, nope, not happening. Oh god, this looks very nice. Sticker. Spoilers. Woo! Quiet morning. Smells like coffee. And watermelon. Okay, let's just jump into it. Um, Stettler. Always very nice. What's it called? It's called a pencil sharpener. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I can speak words. Ooh, Stettler, Aqua, Aquaral, 4B, so I guess this is a, oh god, it's this one, uh, a quality pencil that is remarkably break resistant and easy to sharpen cleanly due to specially formulated super bonded leads. The soft graphite of the Mars Lumograph pencils draw and erase easily. I'm confused about the aquarel part, but eh, we'll get to it. My most favorite eraser in the entire world. I don't think I've ever experienced these as being bad. Ever. Don't ever say ever. <laughs> Oh, water brushes. Well, as an update on the uh, water brush that came with the gold paints, um, it's that one is still my very favorite. But um, yeah, again, Faber Castell is usually also very, very lovely. This is so tiny. Hmm. It's pretty adorable. This is very nice. Ah! Dropping stuff all over. And... Last time I worked with Watercolor pencils, I guess. Um, that's ages ago. Holy shoot! I, I think I'm excited. I think I'm excited, mostly because I, I've wanted to, uh, especially now since I've worked so much on my normal watercolors. Um, it's gonna be really fun to uh, to get into these. So uh, 
this is a really really nice box for me right now at this moment and oh my god that is beautiful god damn it <laughs> oh that is so pretty did you change the yeah i, I think i it feels different the paper not in, not in the bad way don't don't get me wrong it just feels different I kind of like this. It has a tiny, tiny bit of texture. That's pretty cool. There you go. I really like the composition of this. It's very, very nice. I am gonna put it right over here so I can look at it. And if you want to look at it, <laughs> you're just gonna have to find the artist yourself. And a bit of watercolor paper. Lovely. Let's get this space cleaned up. Hi again. So I've decided to not open the eraser because I already have one right here. It's the same one I always use. Um, I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, wait, I'm trying out the sharpener. But uh, let's start out with the uh, the pencil. Oh, oh dear. Feels quite soft. Well, it should. It's a it's a B. Do some lovely smudging and. Pretty good erasing. Did press really hard and it's a soft <laughs> pencil. There's one thing I want to uh, want to try out. Doesn't say anywhere but on the pencil itself. Oh my god, yes. It is very, very much water soluble. Very much. Oh dear. What does the cat do? Not much right now. I it's not sure how to utilize the cap. But thus far the, the brush seems nice. It keeps wet on the I'm sorry, it just feels like it's such a major thing to, uh, to to talk about because I'm not used to water brushes doing that. Um, it was one of the things that I found out found to be the most awesome thing about painting with uh, with watercolors in uh, during flight because up in the air the water keeps going into the bristles. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Ah, what do we want to try? Let's go for the uh, the blue. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna swatch a white. It's well, that's still wet. We can use this old old part over here. I. I'm not really used to using white, so uh, that's gonna be fun to try out. There's uh, the yellow. Yeah, that is indeed very white, vibrant. That is quite a nice yellow. That's fun. I thought it was a, a very dark brown. Oh, it's chipping. Because the uh, the color up here seems a little bit brown. Yeah, oh well. I guess it's just... Whatever.
Oh dear, these are pretty cool. As said, it's it's been quite a while since I've worked with either. Pencils, colored pencils, or with oh my god, there's no deep purple. Oh well, too bad. This, this could work. Just put a bit more blue in. How are you going to react to this? Uh, as you can see, it's gonna be quite interesting if I can actually make this work in the, in any way that doesn't just make a giant blur and I haven't focused properly I am so sorry that sounded a bit sarcastic especially now where I'm not correcting it anyway Let's be honest, it's been a little over a week and I've decided to give this another go before I start editing. <laughs> uh, I feel bad about it. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm still not into it, even though I like this idea. Let's try again. <laughs> 